Coming at you from Tokyo, Japan. My name is Dave and this is my 98 Toyota Altezza. I can never remember what batteries in this car, so when I go to buy a new one, I have a look in the book to tell me what battery I need. Eventually, you're not gonna be able to do that, so this video is for you. This is the cheapest one that Autobucks had. Let's put it in. Ugh. Bye. On top of the ECU box here. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Try and slam dunk it. We're in. Left the stick in there, mate. There it is. I can't actually disconnect this anymore because of the way that I've got everything connected to it. It, oh, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> it's not ideal, but that'll work. I kind of want to mod that so I can just slide it in because taking this bolt off is a pain. But to be fair, how often do you actually remove the battery? I gotta take this one off too. Oh, I dropped it. Oh God. Where did it go? Oh, it's down there. I need a magnet now. Easy. Put that on there. The never easy back one. Doing this up is trash. Good job, boys. Probably should have just got a socket for this one. Okay, they say to connect the positive first, yeah? Let's get, um, let's get that nice and loose before we press it on there and ruin anything. Why do you do the positive up first? Well, because if you are doing, if the negative's already connected and then you do this while you're trying to tighten it up, you'll get a spark and you don't want that. So you do the positive up first and if you hit anything while you're doing up the negative, it doesn't matter. That's on there, pretty good. Okay, let's connect up the negative. Do I want to connect up the negative? How many weeks is it just gonna be sitting here doing nothing? Well, it's a brand new battery. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay. We're gonna tap this on. Give it a little tappy, a tap, tap, tap -aroo. That's tight enough. That won't rotate at all. Cool, that's done. 